Hello, a very warm welcome to us here on Crafters TV. I'm so excited to have your company for this show. It's our beautiful beginning show. Usually, I say usually, almost every single Wednesday night at six o'clock here, UK time, we have our amazing, beautiful beginning show. And as the name suggests, it's all about taking things back to basics. Perhaps you've never crafted before. Perhaps you've done a little bit of crafting, but you need a little bit of expertise and some great products as well to help you along your way. Then this is gonna be the perfect show for you. And of course, I'm not on my own for this show. I'm very, very excited because I am joined by the absolutely incredibly talented Sheena. Sheena, good evening. Are you well? I'm good, yeah. Tickety-boo. Yes. Fabulous. That's what we want. Of course, we want lots of amazing techniques, lots of amazing demonstrations. And Sheena is going to take things right back to basics for you guys to show you how you can achieve the most incredible finished results. Now, I'll be honest, you're probably going to look at some of the finished samples I'll show in a little bit. You're probably going to think, do you know what? If I'm a beginner, there's no way I can create those sorts of effects. But with Sheena's amazing products that we're going to share with you throughout the course of the show, and of course, Sheena's incredible expertise, I mean, she's been doing this for years and years. She knows a thing or two about craft and art. She's going to teach you that these are actually achievable. Even if you've never picked up a paintbrush or a pen or a stamp or inks in your life, these techniques are going to be very, very much achievable. Now, we'll get into this brand new launch in just a moment, but there's a couple of little housekeeping bits that I want to run through first. A few extra promotions that you'll find happening over the website. They're actually very exciting because it means you can sort of pick up a bargain and some of them you can actually use in conjunction with this fabulous brand new launch. So first of all, we have got a fabulous discount code that you can use throughout this week. Uh, the code is SUMMER, that's all it is, SUMMER, and that's going to give you £5 or $5 off your next shop. Don't forget, it's one use per customer, so if you've already used it, I'm afraid you can't use it again. However, and I had to check this before the show because I couldn't quite believe that this is the case, you can use this on new launches. So if you've not used the code SUMMER yet this week and you're getting the showstopper, take another fiver off it and it gets even better. So make sure you pop in SUMMER into that discount code box when you are checking out. Now, talking of bargains, if you really want to pick up a bargain when it comes to your festive crafting, we have been talking about that Tis the Season sale, but we've got an extra treat on top of that one, which is absolutely incredible. If you check out that Tis the Season sale and pop into that promo code box, the code EXTRA5, so that's the word EXTRA, the number 5, into that box, that's going to give you an extra 5% off all of those items in that Tis the Season category. And when they're already saving up to 70% and we're giving you an extra 5% off, sounds pretty good to me. So that's definitely the destination for a bargain. So check out the website, a couple of discount codes, incredible offers to be had. Super, super exciting. And it's an amazing time to shop here at uh, Crafters TV. Some amazing bargains to be had for sure. Now we're talking about bargains, but we're also talking about brand new products, which is always absolutely incredible. We love to be able to share with you the most new and exciting products here that we're bringing at Crafters Companion. And we have some amazing goodies uh, courtesy of Sheena. We are launching three brand new stamp sets. If you tuned in early in the day, we launched these this morning on Wake Up Call with Ben and Sheena, and these have been taking the world by storm already. You guys are absolutely loving them. Of course, we're not just bringing you the brand new launch, we are bringing you an incredible showstopper deal just to make things even better, which of course we absolutely love. And we have handpicked the items that are within that showstopper to make them work perfectly with those stamps. So like we say, it's beautiful beginnings. It's all about taking things back to basics. That makes it absolutely ideal if you are a beginner. So what you're getting for that £28 or $36, if you are part of the Platinum Club, is three brand new sets of clear stamps, hand-drawn by Sheena, absolutely gorgeous artwork. I mean, when you see the samples, it really does bring this artwork to life. So you're getting those three gorgeous sets of stamps there. But when you're buying those three sets of stamps, you are getting 12 aqua pens for half price which is absolutely amazing value for money and those are going to pair absolutely perfectly with those beautiful stamps you are getting the aqua uh, pens that i'm showing you here these are the essential colorways within your aqua pens so if you've never used aqua pens before what a perfect place to start with an essential set of colorways these are dual ended water-based pens and uh, what that means is they're almost like a watercolor paint but in a pen which is brilliant because it gives you even more control perhaps you've been a little bit scared in the past uh, of working with paints and working with watercolor paints by having that color contained within a barrel it gives you that little bit more control but you can still blend down those colors so yes we might be saying 12 pens 
but so many more, pretty much limitless possibilities. You can blend these, you can mix them together, create your own custom palettes, but then blending all of those colour tones out with water gives you all of the different shades that you see in there. So lots and lots of options and possibilities with these, not just for colouring in your stamps, but backgrounds and all sorts of other techniques as well, which we love. Now those are your pens, we've had a little look at the stamps but of course when this really starts to come to life is by looking at those incredible finished samples. Aren't these just absolutely stunning? It doesn't matter what your choice of colouring medium might be, perhaps you love your alcohol pens and your really bright colours but maybe you like your sepia, how striking does that look using just one colour tone, it's so so effective. Bringing in some of those aqua pens, so stamping in the aqua pens themselves and then water colouring and dragging that colour out looks absolutely fabulous. Bringing in all those inks that you might already have in your crafty stash, who am I kidding? You might have, I'm sure a lot of you guys at home have tons and tons of inks that you can be bringing out, inking those edges, going for a really lovely vintage uh, shabby chic distress look if you want. How brilliant does that look in the background, bringing in some of those stencils, a little bit of faux bleaching. Or perhaps you're going to go a little bit more bright, a little bit bolder, bringing in those lovely colourways. Doesn't that look absolutely stunning? But the brilliant thing, and I say this time and time again when it comes to Sheena stamps, is that she gives all the clues within that artwork. They've been designed so cleverly that it makes it super easy to actually know where that shading is going to be, know where you're going to put those highlights, where you're going to put those low lights. It's almost just like colouring by numbers, and it makes it so enjoyable and so achievable as well, which I absolutely Absolutely love. Every single one of these looks completely different. Just change up those colourways, change up those colouring medium, and you have got something completely different every single time. And I have to finish on this one. How super cool does that look? Literally just in the blues, but how striking. What a fabulous re retirement card. I can't think anybody uh, that would not be absolutely delighted to receive that. Isn't it just an absolute showstopper? And talking of showstoppers, that is your showstopper deal. The three sets of stamps, those 12 aqua pens as well, is coming in at a platinum club price of £28 or $36 now. I'm seeing some of the samples, which really does start to bring that artwork to life, but even more so is when we go over to demo with Sheena in just a moment. But just before we do that, we've got so many of you uh, saying good evening and hello so far. I'm just going to say a few quick hellos, because I always say it's so lovely to have your uh, company at home, and I'm sure you're all feeling super inspired. Uh, we've got Susie on the socials this evening. Obviously, I'm joined by Sheena in the studio. We've got Tracy running about after us, making sure we're all uh, fed, watered, and we've got everything that we need for the show. And in the gallery, we've got the fabulous Nicola producing, who's saying hello and of course we've got our George on the joystick as well so a top team tonight for sure so we've got Stephen Nicole joining us uh, Carlette is in Zoe Carver's in from West Sussex uh, Laurie's in from a hot and humid Pennsylvania Michelle Harris is saying good afternoon uh, La Quieta Gibson is saying hello everyone from Kentucky Daniel Pierce Holland is in um, uh, Beth Fallone is in, Lisa is in, uh, Kathy Myers, Kendall's in from Minnesota. Uh, oh, good question from Kendall uh, on Facebook. She says, are the stamps made just for watercolouring? Absolutely not. You can do so many different technique, techniques with these. Any sort of colouring medium these are going to work with. Yes, we pair them with, them with the aqua pens because they work perfectly. But if you like your classiques, maybe your illustrators, your tri blends, they'll work a treat. But the strength of this artwork, I'm looking at these and I think, all you could do is literally heat emboss it, maybe heat emboss in gold metallic powder. Don't even colour it in at all. Because that artwork is so beautiful and so detailed, leaving it just as that line work is still going to look absolutely incredible. So tons and tons of options with these, not just for your watercolour. Whatever colour medium you're into, you're going to love these stamps. Any more questions, please do get them in. Uh, Barbara R is joining us from Indiana and Andrew Bennett saying, good evening all, hope we're all well. I'm certainly well, I'm super excited to be here because quite frankly, I love doing these shows with Sheena. I come off these shows and I practically run home into my craft room because I feel so inspired with all the amazing techniques that she shares with us. And I think it's time that she does just that. Oh, bless you. Cheers, Lily. Well, um, I thought because it's beautiful beginnings, we'll start off, we're going to go on a little journey. Ooh. And we're going to start off with what I, what I think is one of the um, easiest and most effective techniques. And like Lily said, you know, if you've got a stamp that's got the right amount of detail, sometimes just stamping and bossing, show off those gorgeous embossing powders you've got, mm -hmm. you're done. So that's about as easy as you can get. Um, after that, the next thing is going to be stamping and blending with the ink. So um, for the lady who just said, is it just going to work for like watercolour techniques? No, you can really make, uh, you shouldn't have to work hard 
to make a stamp look good. That's mm. my that's my kind of motto I've said for a long time mm. now. If it's been drawn properly, you should it should be pretty easy to work with, and that's hopefully what I'm going to show you now. So we'll start off with something really simple, baby steps, as in um, we're going to stamp with the water reactive ink pad and wow. blend the line, which you've probably seen me do before. You might have seen before, you might have done before, but. As it's a beautiful beginning show, I want to take you through some of the things that, as a beginner, will make things easier for you, things to know. So the first thing is you want the right card. So use a watercolour card. Um, we've got a really good deal today on the, um, the watercolour pads. They, mm. um, that's a really good. So we've got buy one, you get one half price, Lily, oh, on those yeah. pads. Yeah. Loving that, yeah. So Check that's out a the really good deal. That. Yeah, fabulous. Shall I show you which ones I mean? This oh, one. Yeah. That one, Absolutely. that very one there. Ooh. That's mine. That's the one. Love it. So that is um, fabulous. And you're going to get 40 sheets in total. Mm -hmm. And they're bigger than um, a um, A4. Mm -hmm. You can't trim these in a regular trimmer. They're too big. Oh. So you need your bigger trimmer. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There you go. So there's a lot in there. The way they cut up, you're going to get a lot of use and not much wastage out mm. of that for your toppers, for your cards. Absolutely. So that's what I've been using um, today. So that that's important. If you were using your... Um, your alcohol pens use your nina card mm -hmm. but they'll work with that too and use the appropriate ink i'm going to use one of the water reactive inks in pine tree i think it's a lovely green lily i mm. love that one oh, yeah. and that's in the bundle that we've got today Ooh, as well fabulous. of um the water reactive ink pads so and what i'm doing is i'm using the repositioner because i want to i'll probably stamp it a couple of times just to make sure that I've got lots of ink on that line, on those lines in this um, image, and also that I haven't missed any. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and re-stamp that. And that's the beauty of the magnetic one. I think that's fat, mm -hmm. fat because mm -hmm. if you, if that happens, if you do miss a bit, you can go back and fix it, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. And I find quite often, usually with sentiments, I want that, that stamped image a little bit crisper, a little bit deeper. By going over and stamping again, especially if you stamp with black, it allows you to get that really dark, deep impression. So yeah. for me, absolutely, the stamping platform is a must-have. It's incredible. Absolutely. I've taken to putting a bit of the repositionable tape on Ooh, the back good tip. as well, because what I've done, Lily, if you've got a bigger bit of cord, mm. those magnets can sit there and, and hold it in place. But because mm. I'm trimming them down for the shows, there's not much space for the magnets to cling yes. on to. Yeah. So I've been using that low-tack tape, double back on itself, and put oh, it on the back of the cord. Great tip. Oh, i tell you what, Susan. It's called survival craft, crafting, Lily. There you go. It's what it's yeah, all about. There you mm. go. I'll be trying that myself for sure. I like yeah. that tip. It's a, it, it works a treat. There you go. So, if it's good enough for Sheena, it's good enough for me for well, sure. Well, you know what? If the thing is, is if you want it, chances are Crafter's Companion have it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, um, like, coming back, you know, having the break away from you, you guys and, like, coming back and seeing all these things, I'm like a kid in a toy shop. I was oh. like, what? These are all the things that I've been buying elsewhere in the time I've been, uh, you know, wandering. Mm -hmm. And um, things like the low, the low tack tape, I buy that all the time for when I'm watercolouring yeah, and things. Yeah. So, um, all these things are fab. So, Lily, the mm. next thing you need to know about when you're doing this technique is you want a strong colour. Okay. So, don't go for yellow or a, a, a pastel-y colour. Go for a a strong green not a pale green so this mm. one's really good because it's got a lot of color to it already because what you're going to use is instead of i will be adding a bit of ink shortly but majority of the coloring on here is going to come from the ink that's just sat on the lines that i've already put in here and because as lily says i put um shading in the stamps for you so i'll use the texture that's in this truck this wooden texture um, I'll draw more of those lines where it, it'll be darker so the image will automatically shade itself. Does that make sense? Mm, absolutely, So yeah. when you blend it, you're automatically going to get a, a higher concentration of ink in that area and it's going to naturally shade where it needs to shade. Like down there, these mm. little pots here, the darker here and lighter at the top, the darker in there because they're all, there's less light showing and then lighter at the top where there'll be a little bit of a highlight on there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking of when I'm doing this is don't use a water brush for one thing. Do not, the water brush is not your friend in this situation because they're just too wet. Mm, All yeah. right, you need to use an almost dry brush when you're doing this technique. 
because it's surprising how little moisture you need to move the ink to re-wet re -wet it and you're really putting it you're just putting the ink where you want it to be it's not running away from you the brush is almost dry and you're just maneuvering it agitating the line a little bit to just release the right amount that you want not too much just a little bit and not all the same shade i want to still leave some white showing mm. so can you see when you look back at that when you look yeah. away from it like i'm looking up and looking at the screen now and again and that's a good way to do it because you see where there's um, larger chunks of light and dark mm. um, that's what you need when you're achieving this you know at school when you um they used to now i loved art at school because it was something i could do Mm -hmm. maths not so much don't get me started on that oh, that's no. a whole other thing that's where i feel quiet and like kind of you know oh, no, flashbacks no, no. like it's not in a good way mm -hmm. so um but art was great but you know when they'd got get the um you know the graphite pencil out and you have to oh, yeah. draw still life and mm. and then shade it it was a really good exercise and it's it's kind of similar to this exercise as a stamper because what you're doing you're just you're kind of using just a tonal kind of representation of your image so because there's no color there all you're doing is using shades of that one color mm -hmm. yeah. to represent the image and what you'll find is if you go ahead and just water everything and and get kind of like um you know too enthusiastic with the brush it'll look overall flat Mm. like in this area that if i look at a distance that's looking all kind of flat now i can't see these uh, and i can't see the book in the background yeah so yeah. what i'll be doing shortly is i'll be going back in with some darker ink so really what you need to do is either make bits lighter if that happens or make bits darker okay and it's easy to make them darker because all you're going to do is we're going to uh, um, apply some um, less dilute ink to that area and that should solve it for us fingers crossed i'm sure so, it will wow it's looking amazing already really coming together isn't it well it's just really good fun because you just again using think about behind that the little bit of shadow that's going to be behind that one so it's going to be a bit more in shadow but also think of like you see the ripples and the folds in these these leaves they're like they look like um like rhubarby kind of leaves big mm. um or not rhubarb um like um oh what's the beetroot that's what i'm thinking yes or um, mm, i'm thinking uh, shard yes that shard, shard, yeah. exactly that kind of thing and, yeah. and you get them they've got when you color them in if we do a, a colored version you know sometimes get like red and things in the oh, leaves yes. and it makes them look so much more pretty and interesting so don't be afraid to get some other colors in there as well have mm. fun with it so right that's as much as we can do with the color that's on there but what we can do is make it look more impactful. Okay. So when we look at a distance, it's very quite flat in places tonally. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll now get the ink and think, right, where can we really make this darker? And you've got to be selective here. So let's say under here for sure is going to be the darkest area on this image. And actually what I should do and what I might do now is dry this quickly. Okay. Because that will set the the ink that's on there it'll put the card fibers back flat and it'll make it less fuzzy it means that when i color in i'm going to have a sharper image but you can you see already where that's darker under there lily it's made mm. it look much more impactful you can see Definitely. the definition of the trug and the ground now certainly can let right, me just right. give this a quick quick dry lily while uh, sheena's just drying off that image gosh it really is looking amazing it just goes to show the power of the stamps one color and it looks absolutely incredible let's say a few more hellos uh, trinkles garden and home life is saying good afternoon from irene in georgia peggy susan from minnesota we've got candace saying hello from western nebraska uh, samantha's in from oh another hot sticky day in central illinois Oh, Candice is saying she loves watching Sheena, so relaxing, could not agree more. Donnie Yam says, I'm not a painter, but Sheena makes this so achievable. She'll try out the last technique from the last show later today. Do share your makes with us if you do give that a go. We'd love to see how you get on. I'm sure you'll create some amazing things. Uh, Andrew Bennett saying, this is another reason why I like stamping, as someone's already done the artwork, and then he can colour it in uh, as he wishes, or not, as may be the case. Absolutely, you don't always have to add colour if you don't want to. Uh, Jenny Harris is saying, looking forward to the programme, and Barbara R is saying, this is a technique that she first used for watercolour. Yeah, it is a perfect place to start. Absolutely great place to start, definitely. It's something 
something that I've used for a lot of years and and taught it in workshops mm -hmm. and it's just uh, uh, changing the colour. The thing is, the different colour makes it look totally different. If you use a blue, a very dark blue for this, mm. it'll look like, you know, like Delft way, you know, like the blue and white oh, china. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, and that looks lovely. And then if you put like a, a glaze over it, um, <gasps> oh, like wow. with an ultra thick embossing powder, yes. you can actually, um, you know, cover the whole thing with, the, with your, um, your ink pad mm. and glaze the whole thing. <sighs> and then it does look like china. That looks really Ooh, cool. Wow, I bet that looks amazing. It yeah. does look really good, Lily. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. Um, a good effect. So that's dark, and I want this to be also pretty dark. So the point being here as well, don't just go back to covering everything in the dark green. Are you going to be back where you started? It's like Groundhog yep. Day. Oh, mm -hmm. no, everything's dark green. Yeah. So you've got to be selective. So I'm going to say this here. I want darker, just those little pots here, some definition there and in there. But you see, when I've dried it now, the paint's staying, that's the paint, the ink is staying where I want it to stay more than just blending in together and mm -hmm. being a little bit more kind of fuzzy. It looks like I've, um, I've given it um, more like a higher definition kind of version of itself now. Yeah. So sharper and um, more precise where it's going. So this bit here, these little handles, I'm gonna give them some more impact and make them darker. So I'm gonna use that ink. And now I'm using that with hardly any water. And can you see how much darker that oh, is yeah. there? Much, much more um, impactful, that mm. handle there. And when you're gonna put more ink out, just make sure you're putting your ink out on a not wet area of your um, of your craft mat. Ah, yes, great. Because tip. so you don't dilute your ink. Um, if it is, just wipe it up and put it on a, a dry area. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really, really good um, little exercise to do. But it looks so cool too, and it's so cost effective. Oh yeah. And if you're worried about colouring, well, you don't have to worry because you've taken that out of the equation. All you're doing is using one colour, a little bit of water and then um, building up your confidence as you go. So you can do it. Mm -hmm. And can a great you one do is... it? Yes, you can. Absolutely, and a great one as well if you are new to crafting. Maybe you've only got a couple of colours of ink pad. Maybe you're going for that uh, bundle of eight ink pads on the show today. You don't need many ink pad colours. Here we are only using one colour of ink pad. So if you've not got an awful lot of ink pads already, this technique is going to be an absolutely perfect one to go for, isn't it? You absolutely. can see the results look amazing. I mean, no one would look at that and think, oh, you know, it's a beginner crafter. They've not got an awful lot in their crafty stash. They're just going to be wowed by using that one colour way. It looks so impactful. Adding that definition in makes that artwork come to life even more. It just looks absolutely incredible. I mean, that's the sort of thing you'd want to frame and have it on your wall. It is that special. It looks absolutely amazing. Thank you, Lily. And it's it's and, and this is it. The more you do with this, the easier it gets every time, and the more you'll the better you'll get at it. It's like mm. everything. You go, oh, it's like you know. I do. I, I I do things now that I didn't do. You know. 10 year ago mm. there's things i want to if i haven't improved in my um you know illustration or coloring then there's something wrong mm -hmm. because the more you do things you should always be learning and trying out new things and doing something better absolutely and i think that's the, that's why we love crafting because you're always always learning and trying mm. something new so now can you see how much wow. more definition i can see the mm. the pots here this little pot here could do a little just a little bit there i'm looking and i'm thinking where is it looking a little bit flat where can i give it a little bit more shading and contouring just a little bit there just to give that little bit more of a shape to it this one here would have a little bit of a shadow in it and the glove behind there might have a little shadow cast behind it so now i can see how i've separated mm. those now so so just keep looking across it like that. And then when you're done, there's things we can do to, um, to, to pretty that up if we want. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that there. I'm okay. gonna leave that green out and we'll do a background. Let's do Ooh, a background. Yeah, let's. That. So I want to keep a little bit, bit of green in there, but maybe we'll try a bit of charcoal. I don't want a lot of color in the background, Lily. Okay. So I'm just gonna scribble some charcoal here. Um, we've got the green already, we may pop a little bit more on there, but I might do a predominantly charcoal and this could, it might look awful because of the colour choices I've got, but 
we're not finished. We have to, we'll have to stick with it okay. and see it through, okay? So I'm using my little sponge here. Love that. That I, you've seen me use a few times now. My kitchen sponge, just wet it. And, um, and if you want it to look more abstract and marbled, just use a little bit more water. If you want it to look more patterned and more detailed, use less water. But bearing in mind we're using the pens and we're using the pens that are in that, um, the, uh, the... Showstopper? That's the that's one. That's the one. All day, you know, all day. I've said to me, I've called it everything. The Phenom Deal, the Blockbuster, the, <laughs> none of the words, none of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. None of them were like it probably, but yeah, I like Blockbuster. Yeah, it's quite good, isn't blockbuster. it? Blockbuster. Yeah. And you get to sing a bit of sweet in your head as well when you're doing it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently, George is going to be putting that idea forward. Apparently, he's sending Thank that you. email now. I'm not sure whether I believe him or not. Uh, but George, just copy me into that email just to make sure that I know it's being sent. Um, but yes, uh, we want to call <laughs> Sheena's next uh, launch will be a, a blockbuster. We don't want to show stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not good enough. We want well, a blockbuster. Well, bearing mm. in mind the things I forget, you know, I, I blame you, age, Lily. Um, like the pens, you know, the yeah. um, oh, the duo pens, yeah. Couldn't yeah. remember the name of them, so they were crazy cat pens for a while. Brilliant. You know, crazy Love cat it. pens and stuff. So yeah, the, yeah, terms of endearment yeah. for everything, but nothing quite what anybody was looking for. So I think, what's she talking about now? What's she looking for now? And frantically looking in the background for, mm -hmm. what, what's this thing she's on about now? What is it? Do we have that? Do we even, does it exist? Probably wow. not, because I was just making words up. Why but not? I eh? thought, but, you know. At this time of the night, I think we're more than entitled to do so. Well, it made sense in my world, Lily. Well, so that's what the main I've got, thing. <laughs> can you see, we've got like a marbled kind of background mm, now. Look at that. Love yeah. that. How and easy. Just with those, that um, couple of colours. So, and in that first set, that's the one that you're going to get with the... Um, Blockbuster. Blockbuster shows, <laughs> I call it what you will. And that's okay. it. Well, I'll show you those colours again. Mm. But the other thing you can do, here's the other thing we can bring into the mix. And I love, you know, showing your value for money and things like that. I haven't done the middle because you're not going to see that. Yeah. You can get a bit of sparkle <gasps> pen in that oh, as well. Yeah. So the clear overlay, pop that on your thing, pick up your little sponge with hardly any um, water in it this time and just pounce here and there and we're going to get a little bit of bling showing through oh, nice. in that background and it's going to it looks kind of you know like wintry and and if you did it blues in the charcoal it would look really it's a really simple background to do for your christmas cards and things coming oh up, yeah it does look it looks kind of marble doesn't yeah, it? it looks like a marble really does. top or something yeah but what we'll do is i'll let that dry in a second i'll show you what we've got but we'll also Get a little bit of bling into yeah. here as well. Let's put a little bit of frost on why some not, of these eh? why not? things. Why not? Because we can. Yeah. We've got all these goodies to play with. It'd be rude not to, quite it frankly. It would be rude not mm -hmm. to. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. So, you know, um, I'm going to play with them for sure. It's got to be so done. A little bit just here and there. It doesn't. I think that's the beauty of like being selective with it. Don't want it everywhere because then it's about the mat and the bling mm. kind of showing each other off, isn't it? put a little bit in the center of those flowers so we'll just see a little bit of reflection when i dry that so let me dry both of these up we'll pop it together oh no we'll, we'll do Ooh. something else on that <gasps> one let's Ooh. pop that to one side yeah let's dry this background and then we'll do a bit of stenciling on it as well oh eh? fabulous looking forward to that you guys at home are absolutely loving all these techniques that we've seen so far we're only half an hour in so much more inspiration that sheena's going to be sharing with you across this beautiful beginning show it's been incredible so far can't wait to see what she'll be creating next uh, so we have got uh, Rosalind's joining us, Lillian Quark's in, uh, Kelly's in from Florida, Lisa Beecham is saying it's looking beautiful, she loves the green, oh Andrew Bennett says he likes doing the same technique but in brown so you get the vintage sepia look, love that idea, that would look incredible, uh, My Fibro Disney Journey's in saying evening everyone, hope you're all well, Laurie's loving this technique, she says absolutely gorgeous, she learns so much during these shows, I think we all do honestly, it's a joy to watch Sheena Craft. You learn so much, no matter whether you're a brand new crafter or been crafting for many, many years, there's always something new to learn, which is something that I love about crafting. And then finally, we've also got Tim C joining us from YouTube, saying, wow, this looks amazing. Doesn't it just, that background, how easy was that to create? And using one of those ink pads and one of your aqua pens as well. Don't forget, you're getting those 12 aqua pens as part of your uh, special moments showstopper collection. You're getting three sets of stamps, 
brand new stamps from Sheena as well, hand drawn, beautiful artwork. You're getting those 12 aqua pens as well for a platinum club price of $28, uh, £28 even or $36. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Works stunningly as we can see there with your watercolour mediums, like your inks or your aqua pens. But of course, it doesn't matter what colour and medium that you favour. Perhaps it's your tri blends, maybe it's your illustrators, your classiques, or perhaps you just want to heat emboss these and not colour them in at all. However, you choose to use these, you're going to get the most incredible finished results just like that wow doesn't that look striking that's fun isn't it and it's i love you know what as a crafter for me the thing that gives me loads of pleasure is when you can break it down into virtually nothing again back to survival crafting mm. on my desert island you know if i'm when i've been um, left there and i've launched on this island um all i've got is a couple of pens Mm. and a sparkle pen what can i do with them <laughs> or a yeah. learning pad and a sparkle pen what can we do i know for what i would imagine <laughs> so the, well this is the thing this is and and exactly and that's the fun of it mm. making something really cool now look at this watch mm. the sparkle on this look oh george is going in <gasps> yeah we caught that just there See, look at that on that plant pot there's a little bit oh thing. yeah we're we picking it up on just there? winking at us there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Isn't that Fabulous. pretty? Just a little bit, just just to give it a little bit of a bling, and there's some on these leaves there. So can yeah. you see the top of there and just glint in? Yeah. Yeah. There. Oh yeah, yeah there yeah, it is. Got it. Doesn't it make a difference that just Ooh, a little bit of bling? That. Yeah. Love it. So that, and then what we'll do is that's going to sit on there, but we might as well we'll do a little bit of a, um, well, you could leave it plain like that, which looks mm. really good, to it be does. honest. I like it. I would probably leave it like that because all the details there, but you've tied in the colour in the mm. background. And even the background, if I, you see the paper there with the bling? Yeah. See in the corner? Oh, yeah, just yeah. Just a little yeah. bit here and there. So just using hardly any of it, but it looks so cool to just pop it like mm. that but let's do a little bit of stenciling oh yeah let's just to do show it. you how we can use the pens for that too and we'll use the gray to keep the color down for this and okay. i thought this looks quite nice because it does look a little bit leafy kind oh, of thing yeah. around the outside yeah, don't you see think that. so we'll um let me get an applicator with oh that's got kind of a bluey ink on it that'll be fine uh, bluish is fine and we'll pop a little bit of this graphite or charcoal sorry charcoal mm -hmm. there so scribble a bit on your mat you're using less than you think a little bit of um glycerin because that's what's going to make them work with your stenciling because that's going to thicken it up the ink up and it's going to slow the drying time down too okay so if you pop that on your applicator then pick the ink up lily you're kind of making a, a stencil ink. If you just try to do it with that, it's just too thin mm. and wishy-washy. But hopefully now we'll get a really nice ethereal. I don't want it too dark. I just want a little bit of the swirls just showing through here and there. there oh, yeah. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, I and love that. And you could even just do it on one side and leave it like, Ooh, like Do you know what? I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do you think one side or two sides? I, know, I think on I'm one. one. I think one. I think but so, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, and you I can, love that you can technique. make it pale. Like if you do it on the other side, let's do it. No, we'll do it on the other side. There you go. What? Boat. Go boat. on, why not, eh? We'll make this side paler, right? Okay. So, so do it. So just w And so you'll be able to see your options, you see. Then so we'll make one side darker, one side paler. Everybody's happy then. Everybody, yeah. see? Now look, see the peel of it? Ah, there? yes. Yeah? Oh, love that. Isn't that cool? Considering, wow. Lily, we've used one ink pad, one ink pad and one grey pen. Yep, that's and it. And a bit of, um, you know, this the sparkle. So we'll stick this together, because that'll be first make to date tonight. Fabulous. And then we'll move on to another one. How about that? Yep loving this oh gosh isn't that incredible and using your uh, pens as well like ink pads gives you even more options even more versatility with those uh, aqua pens so you might be looking at that showstopper slash blockbuster call it what you will deal on your screen you might be seeing that you're getting 12 pens as part of that but think of them as so much more not only the fact that they are water-based so it means that within one pen you're getting far more shades than just the one you get almost limitless colors when you start to add your water the fact as well that you can blend and mix the different colorways you can be creating your own custom colors but the fact then that those 12 pens can almost turn into like 12 ink pads just mix them in with your glycerin just like Sheena's just showed us and use them to ink with use them with your stencil 
successful. My goodness me, that would this looking like even better value for money. And that's before we even start talking about those three brand new sets of stamps. The Yashina Special Moments Collection. They are gorgeous hand-drawn artwork work perfectly with your watercolors or for any other coloring medium that you choose to work with and they give you the most amazing result for a range of occasions which is absolutely fabulous i mean that background wow one pen one ink pad a little bit of sparkle pen that's it and it looks so so impactful you can be creating makes just like this when you get that fabulous showstopper home you would think you'd use loads of inks and loads mm -hmm. of expensive products and oh, yeah. to get that effect and that technique. And I just love that when it's like, no, nope, we know better. We mm -hmm. know. It's just once you know a couple of tips and tricks and just change. Imagine that old now frosty blues with the grey and that would yeah. be great for a winter record. Definitely. You could put that in the blue when it'll be, um, you know, kind of a, a, a November kind of, a, mm. you know, winter time. Uh, you can send that out. The background again for a Christmas card. Um, and yeah, there you go. First one down. Absolutely amazing. Wow, look at that. Talk about that for a first demo. Wow, that's so, setting the bar pretty high, but I know Sheena's other demos are going to be <laughs> just as fabulous, but sharing with you lots of different techniques because that's what it's all about. Showing you quite how versatile these stamps are, quite how many different techniques, different looks you can actually create with these stamps. If you want to be creating something similar at home, make sure you are going for that amazing value showstopper collection. Of course, we do have the stamps just on their own on the website or individuals as well if you choose to go in that direction but of course as always the best value for money and the most crafty goodies let's be honest is in that showstopper collection it's a four-piece collection that fit in my book and it does it a little bit of an injustice because you're getting three stamp sets of course you're getting multiple stamps in each you've got that main focal image and then sentiments too and then in addition to that you're getting 12 dual ended aqua pens as part of that amazing uh, collection that you get in there with your beautiful essential colorways work a treat with those stamps use the stamps independently of the pens use the pens on other projects but you've got options there to mix and match and work them together to get the most incredible watercolored finished results your showstopper collection coming in at a platinum club price of 28 pounds or 36 dollars wow what an absolutely fabulous brand new launch if you are wanting to go for that one then do check out the website absolutely brilliant love that collection now of course today it's all about that brand new launch but of course it's beautiful beginnings so we have even more crafty goodies that we want to share with you and quite frankly at some absolutely amazing prices now your modern edibles selection i'm just looking at the screen it's saying three piece are we getting three sets of dies are we getting a few more than three i'm thinking as part of this um i'm not sure if the if the price is right so we're getting three three sets no we're getting all of them okay so it's more than a three piece selection i was thinking mm, i thought this was great value for money but you're getting more than three die sets your platinum price for all of what i'm about to show you is 32 pounds or 43 dollars 20. so we shall start off with the gorgeous proud peacock i don't think i've actually got this i'm looking at this i'm thinking i think lily might need to get an ordering because i've got all the other designs but i don't think I have got this one yet. So mm, if you're anything like me and you're thinking, blimey, I need to add this to my crafty stash, then think about going for this bundle for sure. Now we talk about edibles. Perhaps you are brand new. After all, it's beautiful beginning show and you're not quite sure what an edible is. Well, it's one of our die ranges here at Crafters Companion that we do so, so well. What we mean by an edible is you've got a cutting blade along one side of that die. The other side has no cutting blade, so it stays within your cardstock. This means that that left-hand side of that piece of cardstock can be as long or as short as you like it to be, allowing you to actually uh, create your card bases like so. That card base could be as wide as you want it to be. Uh, just change up that size of that piece of cardstock and you will get lots of different finished results. That beautiful first design being your proud peacock. Next up, such a cute design, this one. I think it's going to be perfect for all of your little girls' cards, perhaps for your christening cards as well, new baby cards. This is your Bonnie Bow. Absolutely ideal for your paper piecing as well. Love the fact uh, that you've got those large open areas so it's going to be able to be paper pieced uh, nice and easily. That's your second of your six separate designs. 
Next up, we have your Woodland Fairy. This one is absolutely stunning. I'm thinking perhaps you're going to add a little bit of uh, vellum or acetate behind. Maybe you're even going to add your glitters onto there, even just in black and white, though. Doesn't that look so, so striking? Absolutely love that, that being your Woodland Fairy. And I think there's so many different collections that you've probably already got in your crafty stash that's going to work a treat with that. Maybe even your Once Upon a Time collection, if you got that just a few months ago. Next up, beautiful this one. It feels um, to be quite reminiscent of Art Nouveau, if you like that sort of look and feel. Again, an ideal one for your paper piecing. This being your gorgeous spring tulips. Of course, you can get tulips in many different colourways. So just change up your colours of your cardstock and you'll get different finished results every single time. Of course, we talk about them being edible dyes, but there's nothing to stop you from snipping out some of the flowers and using them completely separately. They don't just have to be in that edible style if you don't want them to be. Next up, oh, this is so, so pretty. This is your Romantic Rose. And again, I think this is going to be one that works with so many of your collections that you've already got. I mean, how many floral and rose-themed papers do we already have in your crafty stash? This is going to go a treat alongside those. Beautiful dye. And again, that edible technology, allowing you to cut it on the side of your car base if you want. But of course, it can be a topper and you can create so many different concepts with that one too. And then last up, love this one this is your japanese anemone a flower that perhaps we don't see quite as often in the craft world so it's like a little bit more unusual but super striking again i'm thinking paper piecing would be absolutely perfect for that but another beautiful design and look how uh, fine and elegant and delicate you've got all those little bits of detail within that die just a stunning design on there part of this amazing six piece collection where you're getting the six die sets for a platinum price of £32 or $43.20. I know Sheena's been having a little look at these and is loving some of the designs so she'd like to share with you a few of the samples made with this incredible collection. Aren't they cool? They I'm loving them. Like. I'm having a look and make a kid in a toy, toy shop looking at <laughs> these because these are new to me too. I love these. These are samples are stunning. So um, as uh, as Lily was saying, I love this. What were the way it's been cut out? The heavyweight cardstock and then inked with your um, blending tools. How cool mm. is that? And completely different look by changing up the colour. Oh, wow. Popping a bit of acetate behind it, Lily. So even if your card isn't a really strong card that you've used, mm. by putting the acetate on it, it reinforces, it keeps you the edgeable look, mm. but it reinforces it so that it makes it more kind of durable. Um, and again, look at that. Look at how pretty this is. There. And mm. by laying um, some glitter um, card behind it, it is another fabulous technique. Wow, look at that bubbling tastic. The wow. thing is with peacocks, don't you want to go completely over the top? You oh can, gosh, yeah. Totally. And it's a shaker card. <gasps> like Even that. better. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Sequins and everything. Love Look, that. Bling on bling, that one. Um Ooh. Cool. yeah. Murray card again. Well you can with a peacock image. Mm. You just you just want to. But then look at how subtle and pretty that, oh, that little gorgeous. boy is there. I love the movement they've got in this. It's mm. really, really pretty. So with your, all your um pretty papers and things, it's a fab way of using it. This is cool that it's cut into with just the acetate to show through the reverse paper on the inside. Oh, yeah. What a nice idea, isn't it? So all the yeah. lovely pattern papers, you're actually seeing it through that. Lovely. More of a bold mm. look there, mixing and matching with the papers on a jaunty angle. Yeah, I like Thank that. It's a bit different. Yeah, cool. Love a bit of that. And then a little bit of um, more acetate action going on here mm. with the uh, layering with the papers. Oh, nice. Very nice. And then, oh, this fairy. This is <gasps> so cool. Look at yeah. her. Wow. Isn't that fabulous? Mm. Look, look at that. Look at the detail in there. Oh, wouldn't Lovely, that look fabulous? So against all your watercolour background, create oh, your amazing yeah. background. Inky backgrounds, Ooh. do some backgrounds like I've just done there and mm -hmm. have that as the in inside. So if you like doing a bit of like, well, there you go, case in point. There An we inky go. background yeah. with mm -hmm. the overlay. Perfect yeah. way of using up your papers because sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes you just want to make inky backgrounds. Oh, sometimes yeah. you just want to play, make some inky backgrounds and that's it, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. that. Fab. But then the thing is you end up with all these backgrounds and sometimes you think, what am I going to do with all what these incredible backgrounds? Them? Stick yeah, one of these exactly. over the top. Oh, it's going to look amazing. Pretty. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, lovely. I like that. Yeah. Pretty. Loads of inspiration here. You know, I'm, I need to do more of this. I'm like, yeah, a card woman is like, the open like that. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> you know, and I get like, you know, fancy I'll get is like a DL and so many five. Ooh, <laughs> But so these are perfect for someone like me who you just want to, you know, do something a little bit different. Yeah. That's so pretty. Yeah. Wow. 
So get your techniques. If you like the stamping and like the inking, you can combine them really well with this. Look, I love that mm. little way. That's, that's that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. That's very. Um, it's like a Victorian because of the colourway. Mm. You know, you imagine like a violet cord and with the bling. Yes. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like Victorian meets modern day. Absolutely. Look, with modern yeah. twist. Yeah. Beautiful. And then the roses. Oh, I love that one. That's very striking, pretty. isn't it? Oh, look at this one. Look at that. <gasps> Oh, these are gorgeous pretty? samples. Wow. Yeah, really lovely samples. Oh, look at this one. I love the colour in that, really. Yeah. So some people are going to go for a full-on, full-bling, um, in-your-face, strong colour. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. That will be on. That will be it. That'll do. <laughs> That's even better when That's you've got gorgeous. the and white and everything. But other people like a more muted palette. So mm. the fact you've got the, the gorgeous shape and all you need to do is swap out the colour way. Absolutely. And, and I love the fact that within this collection you've got a real variety of designs. You've absolutely. gone from that peacock. All of these designs. Oh, yeah. How Gosh. cool is that? And, oh. and these are big dies, Lily, as well. These they are, are big, good sized dies. I love the variety in size cords you can make with them. And then look at that one with the inlay mm. there with the um, pearly cord. Very oh. elegant, quite yeah. old deco. Definitely, that yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Isn't yeah, lovely? for sure. It's so pretty. Wow, gosh, so, yeah, some amazing inspiration. inspiration. Wow, if you want to get your hands on those modern edible uh, collection of dyes, you're getting six dyes in total. As we've just seen, there are so many different techniques, so many looks that you can achieve with these. It doesn't matter whether you're into that more OTT, sort of bling bling style when it comes to your cards, or perhaps you like a more muted, uh, more toned back sort of style when it comes to your card making. There's going to be something for absolutely everybody with that amazing collection of dyes. You're saving nearly £20 or over $22, taking that Platinum Club price down to £32 or $43. $20. Now, we're approaching our first hour gone. I, gosh, don't know where the hour has gone uh, on this show. I think it's a perfect opportunity to give yourselves a little bit of a breather. Time to check out those baskets. If you've not secured your purchase on that show for Stopper collection just yet, now is that perfect time to ch uh, click check out and we'll be back for even more inspiration. Lots more incredible deals in just a moment. So see you in a minute. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble? Or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be should be coming in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what did how she do? <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Hey, 
get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. We're just approaching our second hour on this amazing, beautiful beginning show where I'm of course joined by the incredibly talented Sheena. So many of you guys are already getting those comments in saying how inspired you are. We've only seen one in demonstration and I'm already feeling so inspired. The amount of different techniques in one demo honestly kind of blows your crafty mind just a little bit but wow, so much inspiration from this wonderfully talented lady. It's such a pleasure always to work with Sheena. Just a few of your comments uh, we want to get in uh, just before we go on to that next demonstration. Uh, so our law is in, gosh, it's 10.30 a.m. here in Arizona, and it's already 103 Fahrenheit. For us guys in the UK, that's 40 degrees wow. Celsius outside. Oh my gosh. Laurie, I literally cannot imagine that sort of temperature. A little bit jealous, I have to say. I do not like the UK weather, but that is a different story. She's saying it's a good day to stay in craft and shop. Actually, the next 10 days will be the same, yeah. Something super exciting coming on Sunday night. Stay tuned. She's saying the new stamps are amazing and she loves watercolouring and washing sheena, don't we all? She's also saying the background panel is amazing. Uh, Mary Pat 1000 is in from a sunny Mon Montana. She loves watching an artist at play. Uh, Rosalind Russell's loving that pattern. Lisa is saying gorgeousness. Carlette is saying that's really pretty. Uh, we've got Stephen Nicole. Oh, he's just bought the show stuff they're about to share with you in just a minute. Great job there, Stephen. You're going to absolutely love it. Jeffrey's in saying good evening. Hannah Gosling Smith, one of our regulars, is also saying good evening. Uh, oh, Carlette is waiting on the youngest daughter and grandkids to get here because they're going to do some scrapbooking. Wow, enjoy. That sounds absolutely fabulous. Real precious memories there for sure. Now, of course, today is all about a brand new launch at courtesy of Sheena and it is your special moments collection. Of course, over on the website, you will find the stamps both individually and a bundle of just the stamps. But if you want the best value for money and the most crafty goodies to play with, then you definitely want to go for our amazing showstopper collection. Within this collection, you are getting the three brand new stamp sets, clear stamp sets, hand-drawn by Sheena, absolutely gorgeous quality and incredibly detailed artwork that make it super easy to actually colour these in, no matter what choice of colouring medium you're going with. Maybe you're colouring in with the pens that you're getting as part of the collection. Maybe you're going to use your inks like we saw in that first demonstration or even your alcohol pens will work an absolute treat with these however you choose to color them what show stopping makes you're going to get you can just see at the front there three of those samples how striking and how different all three of those look which is absolutely incredible just from that same collection of stamps but as part of that showstopper we're not just bringing you those three sets of stamps when you buy those three sets of stamps in the showstopper deal for half price you get a 12 pack of your amazing aqua markers and this is in your essentials colorways so as the name suggests truly essential colors that you get in within this collection 
12 of the different pens, but obviously with them being water-based, that means that you can watercolour with them, dilute that colour down, and it means you can get multiple, multiple, multiple shades from just the one pen. And as we saw in that first demonstration as well, mix them with a little bit of glycerin on your craft mat, and you can actually use these light inks and blend through your stencil. So don't just think of them for colouring your images, think of your backgrounds, think of your stenciling, and so many different techniques besides. Wow, an absolutely incredible showstopper with this one. Your platinum club price for all of that crafty goodness is just £28 or $36. And when that's a brand new launch, I think you'll agree, that's a pretty fabulous deal. However, if you thought that was good, if you've not already tuned in and shopped this week on Crafters TV, you might not have heard about one of our amazing promotions we've got running for just this week over on the website. It's all about giving you a fiver, so £5 or $5 off your purchase. All you need to do is pop the code SUMMER into that promo box. It is one use, so if you've used it already, I'm afraid you can't use it again. But if you've not already used it, you can actually pop SUMMER into that promo code box, take a fiver off that price. Wow. I know quite often with deals like that, you can't use it on brand new launches, but we have checked. We've had an independent adjudicator come in. Well, not quite. I've asked Nicola. She knows stuff. She says, yeah, you can use it on your July launches. She's tried it. If it works, it works. I don't know if it was meant to work. We don't know, quite frankly. We don't care, it works. You can get a fiver off that brand new collection just by popping the code SUMMER into that promo code box, which makes that deal even better. And as well, make sure you check out the website for that uh, Tis the Season sale. You can get an extra uh, five pound not five pounds, sorry, an extra five percent off that using the code extra five. So lots more to shop for on the website. Lots of amazing deals that you can take advantage of. But of course, with Sheena being here, it's all about that inspiration. So I think without further ado, it's time to get back over for lots more amazing demos with Sheena. Cheers, cheers, Elite. Um, so I thought we'd build on what we've just done. So we did a card with just one colour. So mm -hmm. one colour, the green there, yeah? Amazing. Um, so this time, let's go for two colours. Woohoo, yeah. You know, it looks like there's only one there. There's actually two blues that Lisa's mm. used. So it's a cleaner look, a cleaner card. But again, when you've got a lot of detail in, a, in, an, ima in a, an image like this one has, it's a way of simplifying it and mm. making it a quicker card to create as well. Fabulous. So I've already stamped this out for the sake of... Um, of time so to i'm hoping we, well not whenever you're doing a, a card that someone else if you're your version of a card that someone's made you're never going to get a carbon copy no and lisa's card is gorgeous so lisa's one of my encoids lisa beecham who's incredibly talented with watercolors and things but um we'll use it as inspiration and that's what if you want more inspiration join me and kes because that's where um lisa and the rest of the team hang out that's where they're going to be and so if you see a card and you think oh i love that how's that done the best people to ask are the people who made it not oh, me yeah yeah they'll tell you so what i'm doing is i'm using um this really gorgeous this parakeet mm. um and but i'm diluting it quite a lot because it's a, such a strong ink this one it's such a vibrant intense color and that's fabulous because you, it's nice when you don't have to use the, the technique the skill is how do i use less of it mm. because you're talking a phenomenal value for money lily Absolutely, yeah when, you, when yeah. you're working out how to how to apply less than i need to mm. and that's what i'm doing so i'm watering it down quite a bit and i'm just going over and doing a kind of a wash over um kind of most of the of the image with this maybe leaving some areas with uh, which are lighter and darker um this side will make this side of the desk a bit darker at the minute i'm just really this is just a a very pale kind of wash over most of the image i'm not don't worry too much you think oh no i should have done that on there or not mm -hmm. um it's literally kind of just it, tonally it's not going to get that much darker like it, here i can do it a little bit darker over here yeah. but i want to leave that for my other blue to be honest so I'm not working too much on light and dark areas okay. at the minute. Does that make sense? It I'm just really does. putting down some pretty colour. And again, because I'm using Lisa's card as inspiration, it's really funny because, you know, you think the way you would approach something isn't always... It's kind of like um, you're, you're trying to impersonate somebody else's mm -hmm. approach. Yeah. And you do have to become a bit like, you know, D DCI Vera Stanip or something <laughs> when you're trying to work on how you've done the card. And really? that's, that's a challenge when I get the cards back from my team because they're so talented. And I think, yeah. what are they doing here? And, yeah. you know, and, and, but that's also why it's best to ask them. 
and they'll tell you yeah. and then you know all oh, right okay that's the way they've done it right okay so the good news is that the inspiration and the information is out there absolutely and it's accessible it's yeah. you just join the group and we let you in as long as you play nice that's all great it is a fabulous group to be a member of. Uh, I'm a proud member of the group as well. And the inspiration in there is absolutely fabulous. I mean, Sheena's team is so, so talented. Oh, and they're amazing. so welcoming and they're so friendly as well. And they're all so um, sort of willing to share their crafty knowledge and all their hints and tips. So make sure you do join that group. It's a fabulous place to be. And if you are new, they are super, super welcoming. Uh, so it's a brilliant place to be. It's, thank you, Lily. It's really fab. And we, we work on keeping it that way we're mm. all you know it's very respectful and very supportive and um and that's and that's exactly as it should be so it's a nice good safe place to be it in facebook is. yeah uh, what ink pad have you uh, actually stamped this on is it your waterproof it is watercolor cut yes so that's what Perfect. you want the watercolor uh mm. card and that's so all again back to that um offer today oh, is yes. fabulous you could you really a great card to use so mm. that would work a treat so I'm just going over. Can you see, even just with that pale wash there, looks pretty good. It certainly it's does. It's going to look better when I get the darker blue into the mix because um, when I was looking at this, again, I was like, how she got all these shades and tones out of this one blue ink pad? Mm. But I don't think she has. She's used more than one because it's a very different blue. That turquoise blue is a different colour family. It's got a lot more green in it than the dark blue. Yeah. yeah. Yep, certainly so does. you by lightening it, you wouldn't get that that bright, vibrant, turquoisey uh, colour um, by lightening the dark blue. But by kind of underpainting it a little bit in places with that that pretty vibrant colour, mm. it um, it gives it a little bit more interest, a little bit more you know, a different kind of uh, look and feel. So we'll pop that there, and Amazing. yeah. I think that'll probably do for the for that one yeah. at the minute. Looks great and, to me. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, even just that one, it. that wash there. And then what we'll do is we can go back and we can put some more of that colour in if we want. But I'm going to go in with this darker colour now. I've got this um, Silent Night. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go now and look underneath the desk. This, if you're wondering where to go dark, look at the stamp. Read the stamp. That's the that's really important before you do anything. Have a look and see when you stamp it out what's going on. Now, with my stamps, um, because I draw and I've always drawn ink and wash, it's just one of the thing I like to do. Mm, it's yeah. a, um, a traditional kind of watercolour arty technique where you would use a, a, a pen with a waterproof ink and okay. then you'd wash over it with watercolour. And that, in effect, is what we're doing together. After the drawing with the ink, it's waterproof because you've stamped it out with a waterproof ink, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And it's also the same technique. But what you do with, um, with that technique is to create dark areas, um, you basically need to um, cross-hatch or hatch the drawing yeah. so that it creates, it makes it look like it's, a, it's darker by, because there's lots more lines there. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? It certainly does, yeah. So if you read the stamp and you see that there's cross-hatching going on, it's like, ah she's telling us that mm -hmm. that's in shadow so that's where you'll put your darker area your, your dark ink um, absolutely straight away because that there is going to be the darkest area on that stamp underneath that desk where there's no light getting in there at all that's mm -hmm. absolutely the darkest place there and then we're going to have some shadow cast on the floor around the chair um, Lisa hasn't put as much dark here, but I mean, I'm just going to put a little bit darker in there because you can. So yeah. don't think, even if you're using the team's things as inspiration and you look at it and go, no, it's not carbon copy. That's, it, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't have to be. It's a guide. All right. Yours will be different. If I did the same card again and I'd coloured it with a water, um, like a water uh, colour effect, you're never going to get them exactly the same every time anyway. So don't try. Every one you do is going to look slightly different than the one you did before. Mm, absolutely. And that's just the nature of it. And that's what makes it fab. We've had a few questions coming actually about one of the cards that we've got on the front here. One of these fabulous uh, ones. That, I'll just show that one to you here. A lot of people are asking about the uh, background on this one. I believe 
it has been, uh, it's an embossing folder and I do believe it has been letter pressed. Am I right, Sheila? You know what? That is an embossing folder. I remember, I think I, one of the folders I launched years ago. Do you know what, Sheena? Do you know, who has, do you know who has that folder in their crafty stash from years and I, years I ago? I recognise that folder. Is that sad? I, was like, I remember that folder <laughs> being in my life. Yeah, I remember. And it was part of the, um, was it the textures range? It was we the call textures, it? Yeah. yeah. The 8 by big, big 8 yeah. by eight was, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. I'll have to dig that one out because I'm, I'm convinced I bought that folder many, many years ago. Yes. But all, all the term, whose card is it? Oh, it's by Julie. What Julie's done by the looks of that is it's an embossing folder, which she's actually letter pressed it. And if you're new to crafting, you might not know what letter pressing is. All you have to do is apply your ink directly into that embossing folder, then run it through that uh, die cutting machine, emboss that design, but it'll also transfer the ink onto those debossed areas. And then it looks like after she's uh, done that letter pressing, she just pops a little bit more ink over the top to give that even more of an aged look but any sort of textured embossing folder I know we brought out some fabulous embossing folders oh was it the back end of last year or early this year and um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys at home will have those sort of textured embossing folders uh, but that's how that one's been done so I know a lot of you guys at home have been asking about that one yeah that's so funny that's like hmm? yeah I remember that in my life the first time around <laughs> and Julie's been following me for a lot of years yeah. and um yeah and crafting for a long time <laughs> so yeah, she probably, I bet she got that the first time around. Yeah, too, yeah. yeah, definitely. Gosh, blast from the past that, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah, it was a, quite a bit ago, that one. Yeah. So can you see what I'm doing now? That getting that other blue in the mix, it's given mm. it that totally different look. Does it, um, it is a different look than you would if you just used the one colour, for mm. sure. So, um, you know, have a play around. Just build on what you've done and just, um, you know, try, try just adding to it. So... As we've just done, try one colour, then try a couple of colours together, mix them together, try different techniques and, um, and see how it goes for you, for Definitely. sure. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about experimenting, it's all about having a little bit of a play. And although Sheena's basing this on one of the ideas from the fabulous design team, of course, the beauty of this is every single piece is a unique piece of artwork. So although she's drawing inspiration from her already existing design, it's going to look different every single time. And for me, that's one of the beauties of when you are creating your own artwork, like Sheena is here. You're going to get a different result every single time. So every piece is completely unique. Even if you want to try and recreate that look, it's always going to be a little bit different, which I love because it gives that it, that real special touch. Everything will be that little bit different. I'm sure a lot of you guys at home are super inspired by Sheena's demos, but put your own twist on it. When you're gaining confidence, take inspiration and then run with it in the own, your own direction in whatever way you see fit. Perhaps you love this sort of techniques, but you're going to bring in different colorways. Perhaps you're going to bring in another stamp from the collection, uh, but do the same technique. Just get that inspiration and then use it however you see fit to create something that's really personal to you. Absolutely, that's it. And the thing is with stamps, you don't wear them out. Oh, you know, no. you can you can keep playing, you can keep experimenting, keep trying different things with them. And again, that when you come back to them, if you have a break from them, you come back to them in a year's time, you'll be doing different things than you mm. did the year before because you'll have, have different products probably more than mm. likely if you're like me will, well, because yes. we're going out mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah. And then, but you'll also have different techniques in your in your kind of tool bag you'll, oh, you'll be you know you'll know some different things you'll have tried yeah. different things then so it gives them another another um you know a, a, a different look entirely different shot in the arm every time you use them definitely um which is a great thing which I is again why they grow with you mm, for sure i think that card we've just shown actually with the embossing folder is a perfect example of that so we've both said that is quite an old embossing folder now quite a good few years old but bringing it back out revitalizing Absolutely. it with some of your new techniques with your new stamps it just goes to show but perhaps you're buying these stamps from sheena today and you're going to be buying some other stamps from sheena in years to come perhaps i think there'll be things that'll be working together and at the end of the day when the same person's designed it they have sort of that at least half an eye on previous designs and upcoming designs so everything's been designed so you can sort of mix and match apply different techniques to different stamps to different dies different embossing folders and get everything working together to create lots of new and different exciting techniques absolutely that a case in point absolutely perfect mm. case in point there um uh, lily yeah so i'm just continuing here just um i'm looking at what Lisa's done but you know what even if you just think well okay I've got what she's done she's used two colour blues and then you just do your own thing mm. it's actually easier to do that than try to paint every single thing 
that that person has painted where they've painted it oh gosh yeah yeah because like oh no so just just go with it yeah like, you know i'm going to go a little bit darker in this panel in the clock yeah. And I'll use the dark blue as kind of like definitely my shadow colour. Mm. I do a little bit down there and I might do a little bit of a darker colour than the side of this clock here too, like that. So it may not be exactly what Lisa's done, but it's an homage to, of, it's, it's a, you know, a nod to. And that's what makes it, like you know, I said, a bit more fun than mm -hmm. having to try and laboriously do every single colour in every oh. single place. And, and and I think that's also when I teach workshops, I like to stress that as well, that, you know, there's not two going to look the same, even though we're all following the same thing. But also mine wouldn't look the same the second time I did it because oh, every time no. you do them, something's a little bit changes as a variable some way mm. that makes it different to the time before. And that's the fun of it. So don't judge on that's the only right way to do it. Um, it never is usually the only right way to do it. So you know it's good it's cool absolutely good. it's always very difficult to completely copy what someone else has done so it's now funny doing that put your own spin on it draw that inspiration absolutely look at those techniques look at the way that someone else has done it but then put your own spin your own twist bring in your own colorways bring in your own little quirks and i think you'll have a lot more fun doing that don't put an awful lot of pressure on yourself thinking that it's got to look like somebody else's or it's got to look a certain way absolutely not just enjoy that process building up those colours, building up that piece of artwork, building up something that you can be, quite honestly, really quite proud of. Absolutely, Lily. Definitely. I concur. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, so many people are loving this. Oh, Mary Pat 1000 is saying she's already used that fabulous uh, summer code. Good, uh, good tip there, Mary Pat. Glad you've used that. Uh, Vanessa's in saying hello from Florida. Oh, poor print times four. Good tip here. There's a five by seven inch embossing folder this year called Crack Wall. Yes, that is a new launch that I'm thinking of. It was it this year. Crack Wall, that would work perfectly. Oh, Julie has commented in. Thank you, Julie. It's lovely to have your company, uh, the creator of that fabulous card. She says, hey, I'm right. Phew, it was the leaf embossing folder from the Texture Series many years ago, uh, and it's great using our, our stash. Absolutely. It's lovely where you can yeah. bring out things. Perhaps Julie had forgotten about that mm. folder. But so there you go. Used it. <gasps> Look, Look at that. Totally just two colours, but because we've used two very different blues, a warmer blue and a cooler blue. Warmer blue because this looks at it would it's got um it's just a different colour pattern. This has mm. got more kind of you a grey and a cooler tone to it. Um that would do that. And then we just pop it on the card like this, matte and layer it up, and then pop it on the card, and that's our second make. So I can stick that together now. And um, oh, the other thing is, Lisa's actually gone round with the vignette Ooh, here. Oh, I'll like show you this little trick. Let's show you Let's this one, other little thing, shall yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, why not? Quick, right, so this is the, um, I did this this morning and it was something that I haven't done, where is it, where is it, for a base. So if you want to make your edges, you know, when you do a vignette look and sometimes oh. the edges are a little bit plain and yeah. not much going on, if you take your craft knife and score in, don't cut it, but just score around the edges lightly and more in the corners like this. When we come to ink this, uh, Lily, it's going to be much darker and you'll see those cracks show through. And you know, if you do that, um, you know that Delft look I was talking about, yeah. about with the embossing powder on the top? Yeah. If you do this and then put the embossing powder on the top, it does look like crazed mm. china. I've not seen this technique in years. Honestly, it's been ages since I've done how this long? technique. This exactly. is fabulous. I don't oh. know how long it's, I've got, I did, this happened just by accident when I was trying to mm. um, uh, make the edge of the cord, you know, like with um, thicker, you know, when you, when you chew the edge of the cord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it accidentally just um, caught on the front of the cord. And then when I did the inking, I went, oh, I'll keep that. That looks yeah. pretty good. And so, but then you forget so much. You. You do so much and you think, oh, we'll do that again. Let's yeah. do it. So I'm going to use that dark blue. Um, if you've not seen this technique before, get ready. This is an absolute corker. This yeah, is brilliant. And then, so always start on the outside. That's where that, um, that kit that we put together with the, um, the brown mat, if oh, you yeah. haven't got a, a smooth surface like this to start, because that's where that comes in. You always start on the outside and then move to the inside of your card if you want to 
not have it really dark right into the card. You start outside and just catch the side of the card you want to ink. And then you get that really nice vignette. But can you see the scratches coming out oh, of the yeah. corner? Look at how. And it looks kind of like a, it could look like vines or a spidery mm. web kind of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. With, um, but also like, you know, cracks or cuts and, and things. And definitely it's great if you glaze over the whole thing. Yes. with some ultra thick embossing powder it does look like um, glazed china it's really cool what an amazing technique i mean when china was first uh, using that craft nice it didn't really look like anything at all but now you put the ink on wow it really does pop and it frames that artwork absolutely beautifully what a fabulous technique this is one i've not done for many years myself this yeah. is definitely one i'll be bringing back out that is for sure i wonder if you guys uh, sat there at home thinking exactly the same thinking oh blimey i'd forgotten about this one yeah you do definitely don't you? Yeah. you do you move on you think oh i haven't done that in ages oh i forgot about that one and yeah let's do that yeah so there you go so now when i'm going to clean this up and then i'm going to stick that on there lily and then mm -hmm. we're going to put the card together Absolutely fabulous. While well, Sheena's just that doing off. that, yeah, yeah, go, cool. go for it. We'll go back over to Sheena in just a moment. But while um, we are just getting that card together, we will uh, read a few of these lovely comments that's coming through. Uh, Lisa Beecham saying it's beautiful. Oh, I cracked the case. Brilliant. I do love a good pun. Do love a good pun. Uh, Vanessa's saying she's loving the technique. So beautiful. Lynn Morton's in saying good evening. Lily Sheena, Team Social, all the CTV team and all you lovely crafters. Lynn's in from Newcastle, not too far from us. Oh, our lovely Linda Fitzsimmons is in. Hey, Linda, hope you're doing well. Lovely to have your company. Uh, hi, Lily and Sheena. Loving the show. Sheena's a magician with colour. I could not agree more. That can be Sheena's new title. We'll get that on a strap. Magician with colour. Magician I love with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vanessa's saying what a fantastic technique. She's going to try it out on cards make sure you do Vanessa I must say I mean we come up with so many new techniques don't we, we get so many amazing new products sometimes we forget about some of these older techniques it's fabulous to see that in action that's one we're going to be whipping back out again for sure and giving that a go if you've never tried it before now the stamps that Sheena is working with are part of that amazing special moments collection and as part of that showstopper not only are you getting those three brand new sets of stamps which include your focal images and your sentiments as well they're going to finish off your makes absolutely perfectly you're also getting a 12 pen set of your aqua and uh, pens as well which work perfectly for all those watercolor techniques for your backgrounds as well they work an absolute treat your platinum club price for all of that crafty goodness is £28 pounds or $36. Just a fabulous bundle to go for. Whether you are brand new to crafting, because it's great because we're giving you the stamps and the pens, or perhaps you've been crafting for many, many years, this is going to be a brilliant one to go for. And don't forget as well, if you've not used the code SUMMER already, make sure you're popping in that promo code box to get an extra £5 or $5 off that bundle which is absolutely fabulous you can see that at the bottom of your screen uh, that's valid for this week only so make sure you get in nice and quick with that fabulous uh, promo code to knock an extra fiver off which is amazing that being your brand new collection of course that's your st showstopper deal if you want the stamps on their own individuals all the options are over on the website do, so do check out this shop the day page uh, for all of those options but you've just seen some of the amazing inspiration from Sheena she's just popping that card together so we've got a lovely finished sample to share with you uh, but just showing all those techniques and how easily everything starts to come together it doesn't matter what your choice of coloring medium with these stamps perhaps you're going to actually just use black cardstock heat emboss in white embossing powder wouldn't that look incredibly striking maybe you're going to go for your metallics perhaps you're going to bring out those alcohol pens maybe you're a fan of your tri blends of your uh, illustrators whatever it might be however you choose to use these i love the fact that we've got something for different occasions as well we're calling it special moments for so many different moments in your life you're going to be crafting with these year in year out they are truly timeless hand-drawn artwork and i think you'll have a fabulous time crafting with these as you've seen sheena from the demonstrations so far so sheena how are we getting on with popping this card well together? i thought we'd move on to the cases now so Ooh. we've done the truck we've done the office and we go full color with the cases okay. so um that's the card finished there so i think it looks really Ooh, cool and gorgeous. considering we did that in real time that's not bad at all so no that's card number two amazing and on to card number three love that okay so what i've done is i've got my card down here i'm going to ink this up i'm going to do a version of this card here which is gorgeous and lovely mm -hmm. colors and things but wow. um, it's not going to look exactly the same because i might do that kind of background that we just did with the pens mm -hmm. again oh Let's yeah see. why not i think that'll look quite cool yeah as well yeah. show you some more use with your pens what well. a stunning card that is though so striking i love the colorway 
cool, isn't it? Yeah, fabulous. So what I'm going to use, I think I'll use um, flagstone again mm -hmm. rather than the, uh, the black uh, lily. So I'm going to ink this up. There's a lot of detail on this stamp. So I do want to, I'll probably, I may well ink it twice. We'll see how we get on. Okay. Such a beautiful stamp, such a large size focal stamp as well. It's really going to take centre stage on your larger cards if you want it to be, perhaps on the tops of your boxes for home decor. Scrapbook pages as well would be absolutely perfect with this design. But what an absolutely fabulous large scale stamp. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Oh, did First time. That was one hit there. Yeah. yeah. One hit yeah. wonder. Perfect. Mm. Yay. Love it. Um, right. So we'll pop that on there. Take that off there. I, because I've cut the cord down and I don't have much room for my magnets, mm -hmm. I did my trick Ooh, again. With my the new Sheena trick on the back. We love it, and that's just uh, works a treat. So, and it's so affordable that Oh gosh, yeah. That. Even the magnets are great. It work. Yeah, if you're using a bigger bit of cord, but it's nice to have that option, isn't it? Mm, no, definitely. So I like the colours in this. If we're going to keep the same colour, we. I love what Debbie's mm. done with the colour. Shall we? Can you look for those? Yeah, I love those colours, I have to say. Let's They're go. pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty, so what pretty. you would do is, um, if you're picking them out, if we're using the pens, for example, I would look at that and then I'd look at my colour charts. And this is exactly what I was saying earlier. Ooh. This is the colour chart for the um, the one that's in the uh, Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, Blockbuster uh, Showstopper, call yeah, it what you will. Showstopper, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's, that's yeah. it. So it's already got some gorgeous greens and pretty colours in there. Yeah. But if we want that really more vibrant um, palette, the um, it looks like we're going to need to go to this set here. Oh, so yes. this one will get us close to, um, we'll definitely get the blues in there. That's a nice, those, that blue mm -hmm. there, watered down. Yeah. We'll get the, um, the green in there. We can use that green with a little bit of yellowy colour in it, possibly a bit of a yeah. topaz. And we'll use this bolder colour for this case in the middle. Okay. So that's that's basically what I would do to pick out my base colours. And then of course you can um, you know you can uh, add other colours into it to give it more interest. But for the base colour, let's pick out those three. And the green um, is gonna be, I think we'll do sea green as the base colour for that but like I said I may put a little bit of topaz in it to warm it up a little bit as well yes. so let's start with this um, base uh, case base case base case, base case. Mm -hmm. so what I can do before I commit to doing that I'm going to use some of that topaz Lovely. and scribble onto my um, uh, mat and then put some of that green in with it Mm. And I'll take my brush that I'm going to colour with, and it's usually the number six brush is a good one. And I'll put a wash of the top of the topaz down, okay. like that, and then try this green with it or over the top of it and see if it warms it up a little bit. Yes, I think mm. that's a better. Yeah, that's nice. You see, in the warm this green here, it's got a yellow in the middle of this green here, so that will be a better option. So what I'm going to do. That's decided me there that I'm going to base coat the trunk, the base trunk with the topaz. Yeah. Instead of mixing the colour in together and one overall colour, I'm going to actually do it this way and it'll give it a bit more interest on the card if I put this colour down first and then put the green over the top. Then I'm just okay. mixing it together. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'll have bits where the yellow's more obvious and bits where the green's more obvious and I can play around with it that way. Fabulous. So that's that there. And don't forget as well, if you wanted your individual packs of your uh, aqua pens, you'll find those over on the website. We've got 10% 10 10 saving on all of those individual uh, pen sets. So perhaps you're going for that um, showstopper collection and you want to get the other colourways of your aqua pens. If you don't already have them, then do check out the Shop the Day page because you'll find all of the colours uh, that Sheen is using in this particular demonstration. Right, cheers, uh, Lily. So I've got that there. So now I'm going to put, look at how much more warm that green is with that yellow Ooh, underneath. Yeah. It's a really, it's warmed it up a lot, mm, hasn't it? Like we we'll probably want to cool it down a bit now. It's like, ah. Oh. So, because I did put that yellow on a lot more heavy handed than I did on the other one, but that's okay. Again, it's a nod to, I'm not, I'm not worried about making it a carbon copy of what Debbie's done. Mm. It's going to just be, a version of those kind of colours and that technique. But I do like that much better and it looks more interesting mm. than if I'd just done a mixed colour. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It looks amazing, doesn't it? It almost 
it looks like it's glowing, it? yeah. And then Incredible. we can pop the mid this one a little bit darker, we'll put a little bit more of the the um the green over that side. Love that. And then what you would do at home is take your time a little bit more, but because I'm trying to pack in as many demonstrations as I can, I'm being a little bit quick with putting these colours on here. But yeah, take your time and you know, uh, paint around those little tickets and things, and that'll be more kind of fun that way. Um, Absolutely. That's what um, it's all about, isn't it? It's about getting lost in that doing, lost in the colouring, and just really enjoying that process. Perhaps you've not got an awful lot of time to craft. Maybe you're just going to do a section of the image at a time, maybe half an hour one evening, half an hour the next, and just seeing that image build up and seeing it come to life, there's something ever so satisfying about doing that. But when you've got artwork that's as stunning as this, honestly, it makes it super easy to get the most incredible finished results. So what I'm doing now, Lily, because that looks really clean and pretty and bright and mm. looks far too new. Yes. Put a little bit of the um, the uh, charcoal yeah. from that first set on there. Yeah, from the Blockbuster Showstopper. Yeah, that exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, and that's put making it, um, toning down the colour a lot mm. and also giving it a bit of shadow and a bit of interest um, like that. So it looks a bit more aged now doesn't it then it brand does. new in your face kind of uh color all right so that's much better i'm happy with that that's a cool yeah. color i like that color yeah i love that it's, it's a fabulous very color, olive isn't it? kind of vintage -y kind of yeah. green and if it's patchy that's good don't worry about this dry and super smooth because i want it to look a bit more aged than oh, um, yeah. brand new so we use those for there the next case is going to be um bolder but again we might use a little bit of that warmer tone underneath. Yep. And I'm just gonna scrub that, scrubble that, scrubble, 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 scrubble. Mm -hmm. that there. And we might still go with a little bit of that warmer undertone. Okay. We tried on this, this bit of card again. So the straightforward bolder color would be that, which is quite a cool color. Mm. This with that would be a much warmer. Oh, yes. See? Yeah, I love so that. So let's do similar thing again. So this will give it a more of a glow mm -hmm. by popping that down on there. And then we'll go over with that um, dark brownie kind of uh, color over the top. Perfect. And when you're doing this, you're having fun in your plane, but you're also learning how the paints work and, and mixing. And, and like I said, every time you do something, you get better at it because you know, all right, I know that, I can do that because that didn't work the last time, so we'll do that again. So, yeah. All right, so that, now I'm going to go dark on this side. It's actually looking quite greeny, like the bottom one. We've got yeah. green and gre green here. It is so far, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but a different kind of green, so that's okay. Yeah. And then we'll pop that there. Don't forget as well the brushes that Sheena is working with. Check out the website for those. Over on the shop today, you should see a bundle of those fabulous Royal and Langnickel. Never easy to say, especially this time on an evening. But those fabulous brushes, you will find a bundle of those over on the website. So make sure you check those out. They are for me. They're the ones that I've used for absolutely years and years. I know they're well loved by so many uh, of the guys here at Crafters TV and so many of you guys at home as well. They are top quality brushes. Uh, in order to get the fabulous results like Sheena is, you want to get the, the best tools that you possibly can. And those are just that so if that's looking a bit too greeny what what i can do is pop a little bit of an orangey ready color Ooh, in there nice. so by popping a little bit of that chestnut color on there but it looks so much more interesting than just doing a flat color really mm. you've got all the different colors just kind of showing it up through and different um you know and different intensities depending on where it is on the page that you're coloring mm. so there you go. That's the second case done. They really are uh, coming to life, aren't they? Wow. They, they really, yeah, absolutely. And that's the fun of it. We'll make it a little bit darker under there and a little bit under the handle where there's a bit of a shadow. And then the top case is that lovely blue colour. And again, we might even, well, let's just try maybe just diluting that one, seeing what it's like. Because mm. we can always age it if we need to. Mm -hmm. Probably just being in my presence for a while will do that very nicely. Aww. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many people are loving the demos. We've got um, 
I think Wealth Chick saying she doesn't get to see many lives. She's so glad she got to see this one. She loves that craft knife technique that we saw in the last demonstration. Our Cherry Miller saying these samples are just cracking, always beautiful and innovative techniques from Sheena. Linda Armstrong is saying, wow, beautiful. And Jean F on YouTube is saying, Sheena, I really enjoy watching you create. Your talent is amazing, isn't it? Just look at this coming to life. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh. And show with you guys at home exactly how you can create amazing finished results just like this. Thank you. It's just, you know, it's having fun, isn't it? And mm. just enjoying it and the thoughts. And, and I do enjoy what I'm doing. So that's a good thing. That, absolutely. Um, you know, you you want to have fun with it. So definitely don't forget that's what your, your main purpose is, is to have fun with it. So don't stress too much about, like we're saying, making it look exactly, or trying to, um, you know, um, make it look exactly as someone else's um, mm. that you think looks really cool. Um, if it looks good in its own right, that's what you're judging it on, in its own merit, every one, okay? Absolutely. So we've got the cases there, so the colours are much more muted. Mm. And then we can decide how we want to colour these little bits in here. If you want to put like a, a wash of the yellow over it, it gives it that impression of it, just a little like kind of brass fittings and things. Okay, yeah. We'll pop that there and then we can colour it in a bit better later. We'll, um, the handles, again, up to you, we'll make it maybe a, a browny colour. Let's do that to match in with the... Uh, the case there. Love that. Um, actually, that can have a leather handle as well. Pop that leather and a bit of the brass. So I'm just using what's on my mat to basically pop it on there. Yeah. And um, and then also look at it. And if you think, well, I could do with a little bit of a highlight. I've gone a little bit heavy handed with that. Try seeing if you can fold bleach bits out as well. So okay. that little bit. See how we've lightened the 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 trunk, the second one, the case. Yeah. A little yeah. bit lighter there. And try again if you think, uh oh, it's a bit, let's get a bit of highlight. That looks mm. better mm. by just lifting a little bit of the colour out. And again, you can do that wherever you want to do it. Just make sure it's a clean bit of paper. Yeah. And that's not looking bad at all. So I'm going to clean this up. But look at how muted those colours are. Mm. None of those colours existed because we've mixed them all together. So don't Absolutely. think the pens or just to be used in one colour at a time either. You can mix and match them. So this one is going to be a, um, a kind of coolish, with a brass kind of colour. It's really, um, it's, so it's a little bit tricky because it's got warm in it, but it's also got cool colours in it, like a cool brown. So mm -hmm. I'm probably going to use maybe a combination of that bolder colour again and that yellowy colour here. Okay. And also leave some white because that's going to be a highlight because that's what's going to make it look like it's metal and shiny yeah is by leaving some unpainted so that yellowy color just like this doesn't that leaving that little bit of white highlight makes such a difference doesn't exactly it? because that's that's it it's, it's when you when you're trying to paint metal um, it's surprising how much dark colour, grey and black in it sometimes, mm. if it's super shiny, because that's what it's reflecting, is the, the dark, the shadows, the light and dark. It's not reflecting the goldy colour as much, it's more the, the light and dark. Um, yeah, that's it, basically it. I'm going to say that again, the light and dark, yeah. Light and dark, yeah, light and dark. absolutely. More people joining us, dark. more people saying good evening. We've got Sue Benson in. Uh, good afternoon from the High Plains and Foothills of Montana. Well, very good evening it is here to uh, Sue as well. Beth Valone is saying, I always save the YouTube with Sheena. So much info and inspiration that I can fall back on time and time again. That's what it's all about for sure. Give you that inspiration. Perhaps you've got different stamps in your crafty stash that you want to be trying this technique with. Learn that inspiration, learn those techniques and apply them to whatever you already have. But of course, if you want that stamp, that is part of that amazing uh, showstopper collection as part of those brand new special moment stamps that only launched just today. So brand new, heart of the press. Fabulous. Cheers, Lily. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that there. I'm going to resist the temptation to keep going with that. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough right now. Yeah, it looks to good to me. To make it look kind of maybe just a tiny little bit mm -hmm. just there just to make it look like it's got some reflection on it. And then we'll, um, I'm gonna use a, a neutrally color. Let's use a warm neutrally color for that label. Just a little bit of brown on that, just to make it look like it's aged a bit in this one here. 
Fabulous. Um, and then we'll pop a little bit of the gaudy colour. We can come back and tidy that up later. Uh, all right, I'm good with that. So just want it to look dirty, not bright yeah. white paper. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then we can, I'm not going to do this. Debbie's painted this like a tartan. So oh, basically yeah. you can just, well, yeah, let's, well, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do that. So yeah. if you want to do that, you are going to pick out, um, she's painted it more like a traditional red and white um, colour. Right, so yeah. let me have a look and there's no red and white in that set that we've been using. So this is where we would go to maybe the primary set. Yeah. And we'll go with, let's go with the scarlet. Oh, nice. Uh, looking, I'm looking, there it is. It's always the last one you come to, isn't it? Yeah, when you're <laughs> absolutely. Always the way, especially so at this time of night. a little bit of that and then um, water it down a little bit. So basically, I'm going to just paint bits of it like this as if you it's kind of folded over on itself like that. Okay. Don't get too caught up with, you know, painting all like, try and think that you're going to paint little tartany bits and stuff. Just little dots here and there will give the impression of the, of the blanket being folded over. Can mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Really starting to come to life, but allowing the detail that's in that stamp already to actually guide you as to where you're putting that colour down. All the clues are already there. You don't need to have to overthink it. Just enjoy that colouring process. Absolutely. And then what we'll do is get some shadow in it because that then makes it look much more realistic. Mm. Um, it's surprising how dark you, you can go and it still look good. Can you see how mm. I've gone really quite dramatic with that? greyish colour oh, yeah but it looks much more natural mm. that way because it's a, the whole thing's like a darker tone so we'll colour the background in we'll make it a warm wooden floor so let's put some of that there we like that and then we can cool it down with a bit of the grey if we want the uh, charcoal so we'll put a base wash of this on lovely this looks very pretty colour it's a lovely warm brown, that isn't lovely, it? Lovely, isn't it? It's very yeah. pretty. Yeah. And then just want to fade it out a little bit so it's not a, a definite line. We'll just have it so that it's just a little bit blends into nothing. Gorgeous. And that's the beauty of using your uh, aqua pens. You can do that technique so easily, just diluting them with water. It's very simple to do. And then we'll go in with a little bit of this um, charcoal-y colour because it's going to be casting quite a bit of a shadow on that. But because we put the, the, that really warm colour down first, it's still showing through. See? Mm, that looks fabulous. Pretty, yeah. isn't it? Really, really nice. Really does give that extra bit of definition and dimension, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But there, you're just following the lines that are already in that stamped image. There's no overthinking, no hard work or decisions to be made. You're literally just following the uh, lines from that stamp. Nice and easy to do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we'll mix that one together. And let's mix a bit of this boulder together and see what we get. And a little bit of a grey together. So this is where we'll, and we'll come up with a colour for the background. Mm -hmm. There you go. We'll have something there that we can probably use. Perfect. Um, if it's looking more too orangey, we can add a little bit of a um, uh, 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 bluey colour in that and that will tone it down. But this I want to be much, much lighter. So just kind of a suggestion of a, of a wash in these panels. Okay. So just water it down because I really want my eye to go to the luggage cases. Oh yeah, definitely. That's so a just more water. Yeah, that's the beauty of a water-based medium as well. If you looked at that colour on the stamped image and then you looked at the colour that's on, I say your palette, but on your glass mat technically, there you probably wouldn't have thought that that come from the same pen. But that is the beauty of working with a water-based medium. You can water it down as much as you see fit and you can get colours that quite frankly look completely different. Same colour family, but a completely different shade. And that's the beauty of using something like your aqua pens. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll put a little shadow from that scarf on there. See? Yeah, I love that. And really that does look like it's dimensional. Um, in the mix again, it's a bit darker here. Mm. 
much less light. If you if you're not sure, look at my stamp and it'll give you a little bit of a clue and you'll see the the shading in there, lots of cross hatching in that mm. little bit there. So we've got the cast shadow there. Mm -hmm. We'll pop a little colour for the panel here and just repeat it just go on a little bit there. Just again, just to so that it doesn't just stop harsh in a harsh line in the middle of nowhere. And water that down and then pop that there because again that's casting quite a bit of shadow against that wall. Yeah. Um, and then it's up to we can decide what colour we want to paint there. You can have these darker or lighter. Let's make them a little bit darker. Okay. These bits here. So more bolder. It's the beauty of stamps as well. It's completely up to you what sort of colourways you choose to go with. Whatever your favourite colours are, whatever your favourite colour combinations are, absolutely you can choose those. When you're using stamps, you've just got that line work. It gives you complete creative freedom to really mix up those colour choices. It can be any colour suitcase that you see fit, completely down to you. That is the beauty of having stamps. Absolutely. Have to say, that's Every one time. of the things I love the most about colouring. You can really personalise things. You can really mix it up and just make it your own. And you can change them up for different people. You know, some people are going to want a stronger colour. Some people are going to like a more muted tone. And, um, you know, just colourways. And if you're stuck, look at palettes. Look for popular colour palettes as well. That's a good way to mm. go um, online to see some nice, some inspiration for some different kind of, um, you know, ways to go with the colour is a good way to do if you're kind of stuck a little bit. Um, I think... Mm, I'm loving that. I think we'll see that's done. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll put a little bit cooler colour down on there. But I think it's quite nice to have that, um, you know, a little bit different, warmer base to that there. Oh, drop my brush. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so there you go. Lovely look at that. Wow, that looks absolutely incredible. Started off with just that stamped image and we've built it up literally from scratch uh, to bring that amazing finished artwork to life. Oh, just a few pen highlights. Doesn't that look amazing? Bringing it to life even more. Wow, what an incredible technique there. Using those special moments, brand new stamps from Sheena. Don't forget that Showstopper collection also includes your 12 aqua pens. Platinum Club price for that deal is £28 or $36. Now, to give you time to check out those baskets uh, and actually make sure you get your hands on that brand new launch, we're just going to uh, play you a little bit about some of our amazing backstage heroes and we'll be back for that final 15 minutes very soon. So we'll see you in just a minute. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. I'm going to give a shout out to our backstage hero, and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Oh, hello. You caught me in full Christmas swing decking the halls. Yeah, I know it's summer, but for crafters, tis the season to get started on those Christmassy projects. Mm. 
you can get an extra head start on our Tis the Season sale. We've got up to 70% off hundreds of Christmas crafting goodies. Shop with us from the 26th of June till the 8th of July for a snowstorm of amazing seasonal offers. From stamps and dies to shimmering and snowy embellishments, this is our early Christmas gift to you. So many amazing offers you won't want to miss out on. Tune in to Crafters TV and shop the Crafters Companion website for our fabulous Tis the Season sale. Mm. Mm. Ah. makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. Goodness me, I can't believe we've only got a little over 10 minutes left on this show. It's been an incredibly inspirational show here uh, on Crafters TV with Sheena. And of course, we have got to get those votes in. So first up, it's going to be demo of the show. So Sheena's got all of her demos lined up, ready to go. What are you going to vote for? All right, so number one was that one there. And we did that oh. one in a minimalist. That was just like one ink pad and one pen and a bit of sparkle pen. And yeah, a bling on it. That was the first one. Amazing. That was one colour. Then we went to two colours. Woohoo! Mm. Two different shades of blue to give that different kind of look here. And um, a little bit of vignette around the outside. Beautiful. And then this one here that we've just created. Hasn't made it on a background card yet, but because time got the better of us. But mm. they're the three there. So oh. three, two, and one. Mm. Oh, it's a tough one. I'll be honest, I'm glad I'm not sat at home because I don't know what I'd vote for. <laughs> it's down to you guys at home. What are you going to vote for? Get those votes in. As soon as we get that vote in, we will then get the vote in for demo of the day. It's going to be another tough one. However, while we are voting, I've got some more amazing deals that I'd like to share with you uh, as part of our fabulous, beautiful beginning show. Now, you will find these over on the Shop the Day page on the website, but this is our incredible collection of your interchangeable scene create a card dies. You're getting six sets in total, equaling 59 dies across the sets for a Platinum Club price of £37.60 or $44. You are saving, get ready for it, you're saving £72.94 or $82.78. And that's not even if you're in the Platinum Club. And if you've not used that summer code just yet, take another fiver off that and it sweetens the deal even more. Now as part of this bundle, you can only get the Tropical Paradise in this bundle. You cannot get this as an individual item. 
that's not enough basically so if you want this one you're going to have to go for the bundle this is our tropical paradise part of this interchangeable scene collection and they do exactly what the name suggests they create scenes but you've got that interchangeable factor with these so as we look at the dies at the top you may think that that is a square die but it's in fact a die of two halves and it's the same with that other one there that allows you to mix and match and come up with lots of different possibilities of course you could have the two sort of matching ones together uh, as we've seen with the dies next to each other but you could have the left one uh, from that side and the right one from the other to create a different scene entirely the options are there layer these up with multiples of each add in your little embellishments your little leaves as well and you can create the most incredible dimensional scenes absolutely love these dies they make incredible really um, show-stopping finished cars with lots of depth and dimension and plenty of interest when it comes to these this one is your country cottage again the sort of same concept where these top two dies are in two halves allowing you to mix and match the scenes you've got that beautiful fence die i think that's one you'll be using time and time again for lots of different projects uh, you've got your house you've got your embellishments as well allowing you to build the most fabulous 3d scenes next up we have our beautiful wonderful uh, woodland love this one love the fact that we've got more of an oval type uh, shape design with this one love that as a sort of a skeleton tree that could be perfect for christmas as well as well as your summery your spring your autumnal cards change up those colorways change up the color and medium that you're using on these and you'll get a different look uh, and feel entirely for lots of different occasions and having all those little embellishment dies as well works an absolute treat to finish off those makes perfectly next up this is a fabulous one if you want to create real striking silhouette cards african savannah is the next of the designs within this collection Perhaps you've got some of your inky backgrounds uh, creating lovely sunset colorways. Just die cut these in black, pop them over the top and you're going to get such a striking look. Again, the same concept with these dies being in two halves, allowing you to mix and match. You don't just have to have them in the uh, formation that we're showing you here. And of course, once again, we're including all of those accessory dies to really build up the most incredible dimensional scenes. Next up, oh, this one is so, so pretty, Fairy Glade. I think you're gonna have lots of collections in your crafty stash already. They're gonna work an absolute treat alongside these. You could even be creating shaker cards behind the scenes, adding your little mushrooms. Maybe you're gonna be cutting them from your watercolor card and watercoloring them using your aqua pens. However you're working with these, you're gonna get truly magical finished results with that gorgeous die set. And then finally, we have got our fairy tale forest. I mean, if you've got Once Upon a Time collection, you're gonna be using it alongside this, aren't you? Absolutely beautiful very much sort of bell of the ball fairy tale uh, sort of feel with this one that's going to be a super useful die for lots of different occasions i'm thinking even christmas with this add a little bit of glitter faux snow and you'll be using that all year round of course lots of mixing and matching possibilities within each die set but mix and match across the die sets throughout this whole collection to get even more options and even more fabulous finished results all 59 dies in total for a platinum club price of 37 pounds 60 or $44, what an absolutely fabulous deal that we've got on your interchangeable scene dies. Now we have got the answer in for our demo of the show. Demo of the show was a tough one, but it goes to number three. Number three. Number three, Yay. absolutely. Open and shut case, isn't it? That's it. Oh, yeah, brilliant, I had to be done. So demo of the day, Sheena, do you have your other Ooh, two I demos don't. with you? Gold do I have, have? I have them, right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna nip over and get our other two fabulous demos. <laughs> so, uh, from Wake Up Call this morning, your demo number one, if you're wanting to go for this one, oh, isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful. That is demo number one. If you are wanting to go for that one, we're coming in close. There we go. Beautiful. And then next up, demo number two, if you want to go for this one, from launch day this afternoon. <sighs> Oh, it's another case. You guys are loving the suitcases today, aren't you? That's demo number two. And then the one that Sheena has got, that's demo number three. So is it going to be one, two, or three? Mm, difficult one. I can't call it myself. Whatever you want to vote, go for, get those votes in. Uh, and then we will uh, get that vote in, get the answer in before the end of the show. Now I've just shown you those amazing interchangeable scene dies, but Sheena wants to share with you a little bit of inspiration by our incredibly talented design team. I've just had the biggest smile on my face looking at these because I haven't seen these before. Oh, they're fabulous, these aren't are they? are so cute. Look at that. Oh. I want to live there. That's like where Miss Marple would live. St Mary's Mead or somewhere. That is gorgeous. Look at how cute that is. And that lovely Nicole Bradwick did that. Oh, one. so that's talented, aren't Nicole? And then Nicole called. Look at that. <gasps> Wowza. How fab I are. That is just stunning, isn't it? Talk Absolutely about building up beautiful. a scene. Wow, so oh. much depth. Oh, oh 
Oh, look at this. Look, it's a whole event. Look, <gasps> whoa. Wow. It's oh, my all gosh. It's layered so that you see one layer through the next layer through the next layer. So look, you can, look at the depth you've got mm. there. If you, if you zigzaggy that one. Love it. Fabulous. Coming up, there's more. <gasps> oh, Ooh, oh dear. that's nice. Isn't mm -hmm. that lovely? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous one for men's cards. Oh, wow, yeah, definitely. <gasps> Love that. I like that really a lot. Really nice um, colouring here. Mm. Stunning. Beautiful. Love that um, one. Bear with. Oh, this is super cool. You know what I was thinking with Ooh. the summer holidays? Imagine the kids playing with these and telling them <gasps> oh, the yeah. stories. Oh, gosh, oh, they'd what? love that, wouldn't You're they? You're just going to cut the card out ready for them, have mm -hmm. them cover them in, stick them together with them. Job Perfect. Good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they love that. Imagine yeah, all the stories it's right. Like. That. Oh, I yeah. I love that one. That is so cool. Hang on, we have more. Ooh. Wow, look at this one. <gasps> oh, striking. Oh, look, it's like the Lion King. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm singing Fabulous. it in my head. Hmm? The whole thing. Yeah, can you imagine Ooh. sing along with that one? With it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> to sing along to, is it? There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, so, oh I won't sing it, yeah, because um, definitely not. The, oh, Hakuna Matata. Oh, what a wonderful on. phrase. I like mm. that one. Yeah. <gasps> That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, a shaker. Whoa. Oh, I love that. Happily ever after. Look at this one. Watch. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh gorgeous. Beautiful. And then a couple more. Oh, avalanche. Oh, I like that one. Isn't that lovely? Mm. In fact, there was one little cottage card I missed for the store as well. Oh, cute. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't That's that a sweet one, isn't it? Beautiful. Ooh. Absolutely fabulous. Wow, some great inspiration there uh, when it comes to your amazing interchangeable scene. Create a card die, £37.60 or just $44. Now, we just want to sneak in one last little amazing deal uh, just before the end of the show, just before we get that vote in. Apparently, it's incredibly close. So we're just going to sneak in this amazing deal on your Paint Fusion stamps. Now, you're getting six different stamp sets within this collection. 37 stamps in total, courtesy of the very talented Sheena, for a platinum price of £56.59 or $40.59. So these are the fabulous designs that you're getting included in this collection. So first up, we have our beautiful daisies. And yes, these have been designed with paint fusion in mind, but of course, you don't just have to colour them with your paints. You can be using any colouring medium, whether it be your alcohol pens, your watercolours, completely up to you. You'll get amazing finished results every single time with these. Next one up is your butterfly. And these are the sorts of designs that you'll be using year in, year out, time and time again. They're absolutely timeless designs. Next up, we've got our gorgeous Simply Sweet. And then we have got our beautiful Rose Bloom, of course, being both the UK and the US's favourite flower. Then we've got the lilac. Love that one. It looks amazing with your paint fusion techniques. And then finally, perhaps you're thinking about more autumnal makes, your berries are going to be just perfect for that. All 37 stamps across that collection for a platinum club price of $56.59 or $40.59. Now we do have the uh, vote in. The result is in. Very close, apparently. The winner demo of the day, oh my gosh, by just one vote. <gasps> apparently it was very close between one and three. It is going to demo number one from Wake Up Call. That absolute wow. beauty. Look at that. Huh. Absolutely love it. Can never call it, can you? You can never, never call, call it. it. Never can. Oh, it's been an absolutely fabulous show. Thank you so much for your company, Thank Sheena. You. I'll be back tomorrow on Wake Up Call and a craft along at two. Sheena, when are you back next Wednesday? Uh, yes, but remotely. <sighs> Ooh, from, exciting. From um, the remote studios in Evesham. Mm, yeah. It's going to be exciting. Still going to be a yeah. fabulous day uh, next Wednesday with Sheena. Still mm. lots of amazing inspiration and lots of incredible goodies too. Thank you so much for your company here on this Wednesday evening. It's been a fabulous show. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you nice and bright and early tomorrow 11am on Wake Up Call. It's going to be another great day. Gosh, we've got an amazing cartload lined up tomorrow night with Sarah. Make sure you tune in for that full day of shows. It's going to be jam-packed. Cannot wait already. Thank you for your company tonight and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.